Okay, hunters, uh, dead fish and Dave here. I'm just at uh, the location of a, a really old uh, tomb. And I don't know if you can see those rocks, but it's up inside the top of this, uh, the rocks in the top of this hill here. Very, very interesting old area. I've got the uh, Equinox with me today. And um, very, very old. Uh, I think it's a fig tree growing here. Very, very old spot. Hopefully, um, uh, we'll get some something good up here. I don't know if anyone's ever detected up here. I know I've been up here a long time ago. But um, let's uh, see if we can get something good around here. Hey guys, I've got something just here. I just thought I'd have a look on the ledge with the Equinox. And it could be nothing. Could be nothing. It's coming up a... A very... A very low tone. A very low... Oh, here we go. It's just a ring pull. Just a ring pull. A very old one, but a ring pull. Okay hey guys, I'm just next to the tomb here and uh, out of this hole found a fairly modern key actually it has a number on it so someone's been up here and dropped stuff which is a good sign anyway, we'll keep going Okay guys, I'm just behind the tomb and uh, it's very high up here, I don't know if you can see that um, you can see the valley through there but um, just out of this hole We've got a, a sixpence, it looks like a, oh, I can't see quite what it is, you can see a date on that, oh, where are we, we are, 1911, 1911 sixpence, it was only probably a couple of inches down at the most, anyway, on to the next one. Okay guys, beautiful view up here. It's getting very warm now, considering it's nearly winter, but um, it is Australia. Um, just out of this hole here. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, there we go. We've got a bullet shell. It looks a bit bigger than a 22, but not bigger than a, tri than a triple two. I'm not sure what it is. It's been fired anyway. It's had a hard life up here. There we go, you can see it better there. Anyway, back to the hunt, people. Okay, out of this hole, people. I have, uh, you can see that, I'll get in the sun. Give me a sec. I have this. Uh, I have no idea, no idea what it is. Could be a cuff link. It's fairly heavy, but um, it's painted like a blue color and it actually has some writing there. So I'll have to wait till we get home and clean that up. It could be. Some sort of nail or I don't know it doesn't have any sort of screw like Phillips head or anything on the top and um, it has a bit of a, a pattern to it so not sure what it is we'll have a look when we get home okay on to the next dig okay guys out of this hole here Kiwi two cents on to the next one. Okay guys, um, I didn't film a lot of that hunt because I didn't find a lot uh, on that hunt. And this is everything I got. So I'll do a quick wrap up. Um, best find of the day was this silver. See that? Silver sixpence. Uh, I'm focusing. So you can see that to 1911. Sterling silver sixpence, um, 20 cent coin, Australian one dollar, Australian five cent. This one was interesting. 
is actually if I can get it the camera right way up. That is a New Zealand two cent coin. Something uh, don't usually find around here. But this interesting item, I don't know if anyone knows what it is. Looks like it used to have more uh, decorative metal around it and maybe screwed into something. It's, I'm not sure what it is at all. But it's got some writing on the back too, so. Don't know what it is. Maybe someone will know what it is. And of course, something I find nearly everywhere. Keys, everyone loses the keys. Plenty of hunks of lead. I didn't even uh, bother to show you all the lead I found. A couple of shotgun shells. Some uh, maybe large caliber rounds, shells. Smaller caliber, maybe pistol round maybe. That's a 22. Not sure what they are. They could even be 30, small 30 cows. But that's the wrap up of my hunt. And um, yeah, bit of a disappointment, but better than getting nothing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next hunt. Cheers. Happy swinging.